The music and movement classes cover a very wide variety of really deep fundamental musicianship skills. The relationship between time, space, and energy is a very important concept in this approach to musical training. The first foundations of, of this idea can be found in activities and stories we use to help young children explore the space around them, the different parts of their bodies, how they move together and independently, and the many different ways they can move through space. Singing and solfege are key to the training of any instrumentalist. Our own voices are often our best teacher, and we sing a lot in every class to develop inner hearing for intonation on our instruments and a natural sense of phrasing. Of course, we also do it because it's part of being a human. The flow of the class constantly challenges students to take more independence with what they are learning as soon as they are ready, helping them to internalize it better and faster. My job as the teacher is to constantly play with this level of challenge, pushing them while also helping them feel successful and ready to take the next risk as learners. This method is education for music through music. I improvise expressive music that inspires the students to move, embodying the variety of expression they will play through their instruments down the road. We act out stories and situations from life to connect the students' musicianship to their own direct human experience. Teaching range and melodic direction, which notes are high and which notes are low, can happen while being Jack's beanstalk growing up to the sky. The students need little verbal explanation to do this and experience the length of the musical idea. This is going to be a long time. Let's go. Um, Connecting music through these experiences to a student's own life develops a deep and organic sense of musicality. It's a very common problem for young, and sometimes not so young, musicians to shortchange longer notes. 
Five and six year olds don't do a lot that is slow in how they move their bodies. In the class, we build a library of kinesthetic memories of all different speeds of movement that translate directly to strong rhythm and reading skills. In almost every class, we use games that follow improvised music to relate different lengths of notes. The students are exposed to these relationships for a while before being shown the abstract notation that we use for them in music, giving that notation a deep and immediate meaning for them. The experience is also really fun and joyful for the kids. The founder of the method that this, these classes are based on, Emile Jacques Dalcroze, felt very strongly that people who are experiencing joy are learning better, they're learning more deeply. And that is something that is very important to us here at Vienna Music Institute, to have this environment, learning environment be joyful and have the students really retain and deeply engage with what they're learning here. It's something that I experienced in learning this method. Um, there's this magical moment in, from my experience as an adult student of Dalcroze where people are moving around the room, they're listening, they're following the instructions of what the teacher is telling them. And then there's this moment where the teacher says, you know, you're allowed to look at each other. And then everyone looks up and they catch each other's eye and they start smiling and all of a sudden everybody's um, shyness or fear of being judged just dissolves and everyone is totally in the experience of what they're doing and how they're moving and engaging really deeply with the music and the musical topics that are at hand. Thank you.